Welcome back to the WHHI TV Daily News. With me now is Jonathan Tompkins, and he is the senior pastor at St. Andrews by the Sea United Methodist Church. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Great to be here. Yeah. So before we started filming, you mentioned that you're really looking to make the church uh, a very integral part of the community, partnering with a lot of nonprofits to do community events. So we're going to talk about several of those today. First, we're going to jump into February 24th, which is your poverty simulation event, which I find this really fascinating. Tell us a little bit about it. We are uh, partnering with United Way, and uh, we're inviting everyone from the community to come and for three hours at least experience what it's like to live in poverty. Yeah. And you know, in this area, I think it's kind of easy to forget maybe that we have a lot of people living in poverty. We see all the beautiful things mm -hmm. around us, but it is a reality here. So if somebody is going to attend this event, what kind of things can they expect to experience for themselves so they get a better understanding of that? Uh, we will be presented a budget, uh, kind of a typical uh, income for somebody living on the poverty level. And we'll be asked to uh, take our budget and live off of it. So. Uh, you know, pay the rent, but you've also got to pay for groceries, and you've also got to uh, pay for your child's uh, school books or whatever the school is asking for at the time. And you've also got to pay for your utility bills. Right. And uh, more than likely, uh, by the end of the session, we will not be able to pay for everything, and so we'll have to make some choices. Yeah, which is really interesting because, you know, as you said, a lot of us don't have to make those difficult choices, but it really is, do I pay the rent or do I put food on the table for some people? So I think that's gonna be uh, very eye-opening for mm. those that attend, so, so. very interesting. Um, and that, at what time is that? I know it's February 24th, but the event is from? It's from 12 to 3 p.m. 12 to 3. And it's okay. at uh, St. Andrew by the Sea at our church campus. Okay, excellent. And then another thing that you're gonna be partnering with is a lecture series that um, is, in partnership with Mitchellville. Tell us what's happening there. Every year we host a lecture series called the Dr. Julius Scott Lecture Series, and this is put on by our bridge builders, and this is a group in our church uh, that is really just devoted to having conversations that kind of transcend racial lines and racial barriers. And so this year we're welcoming Ahmad Ward, who yeah. is the director of the Historic Mitchellville Project, and he's going to be with us to talk about the future of Historic Mitchellville. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to this. I've only been on the island since June, okay. and uh, I really want to know more about Mitchellville as well. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Well, welcome to the island. And I Thank think that you. will be a really uh, interesting talk because I know they've gotten some really great grant mo money recently. So things are great things are coming for Mitchellville. So that will be excellent. And we got about a minute and a half left, but I know we do want to make sure that we touch on another partnership, and that's with the Neighborhood Outre Outreach Connection, which is here on the island, and that is a spring break activity that's coming up. Yeah, this comes from a grant that uh, Rebecca Jones, who is our chair of our outreach committee, applied for. It's called a mustard seed grant, and uh, this spring break uh, project is to put together care packages for families that NOC NOC uh, works with, and um, it's to provide a little uh, fun project for them to do together as a family. They're going to be baking cookies together, so it's cookie nice. kits. Yeah. And then uh, Rebecca said that she felt a little guilty, so we're throwing in uh, toothbrush and toothpaste along with it. Okay, to, good. Uh, so <laughs> eat your they... cookies, and then you brush your teeth. But uh, you know that's right. an interesting thing because some of these families, I think, that probably will be receiving these kits might not do as many family activities together as other families do. So this is really a great way to bring them together to do something fun. Indeed. Yeah. And then uh, the this mustard seed grant, of course, you know, a mustard seed starts off small and then grows into something huge. And yeah. so we're hoping that this will also allow us then at uh, Christmas time during the holidays uh, to come back and do another project with these families as well. So stay tuned for that. You'll have to come back and tell us all about that another time. I'd be happy to. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jonathan, for being here today. We appreciate it. Thank you. And there's much more to come, so stay with us.